Tech Cox, delivering happiness at South by Southwest. Super excited to be joined by the co-founder and CEO of Foursquare. Hey. Uh, have you checked in here yet? That's the question. I Dennis Crowley. I was, was going to go on the bus, but I decided I was going to take a nap instead. Oh, so. okay, yeah. okay. Um, so anyway, Dennis Crowley is the co-founder and CEO of, of Foursquare. Can you tell us a little bit about Foursquare and what you do today? Yeah, sure. So uh, at Foursquare, you know, we're about 50 people. We're based out of New York. We're trying to build things for mobile phones that make cities easier to use and the world more interesting to explore. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, people, we've got about seven and a half million users now, all around the world. They're checking into places, their favorite cafes and bars and restaurants and coffee shops, uh, sharing the things that they love to do and the things that they're uh, they're really you know excited about finding with their friends, and um, you know just trying to find ways to connect people with the world and connect merchants with uh, some of their best customers. I'm passionate about like what the next generation of of mobile phones and mobile technology looks like. Like, you know, you walk around here and everywhere you go, people are on their phones all the time. And I don't think that's what we're supposed to be doing. Like. The phones are sensors. They should be talking to networks. They should be doing work for us and like letting us know about interesting things. Like we shouldn't be, you know, in, in front of our phones all the time, like 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So I look at a lot of the stuff that's coming out and just see if we can find interesting opportunities to like take advantage of, you know, near field communication, passive GPS, like you know, phones with better location. There's a lot of interesting stuff coming out. But there's like there's always like a little, there's a little bit of like additional functionality every year that's squeezed into some app, right? With the Foursquare stuff, like we have our, you know, this trending server that shows that here's what everyone's doing, all the places you can see as trends, as places move up and down, and like it helps you figure out which party to go to, what panel to go to, right? A lot of the other stuff that's going on is like big group messaging services, like how do you coordinate groups of people, and you're like doing it outside of Twitter, outside of check-ins, you know, doing this messaging stuff. We've been using Groupon as a team, and it's been working out um, fantastic. And that stuff, that, I mean, that stuff's just really interesting. I think the stuff that's most successful here is the stuff that, you know, it. it it helps groups of people coordinate a little bit better when they're on the ground in Austin. And people are most likely to take those tools and bring them back to Seattle and Boston and LA and San Francisco and then spread them to their friends. I, don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm, pretty, uh, I'm pretty hooked on the Twitter these days. Um, you know, I was kind of slow getting into it, but I use that as a, as a means for everything. Like, I've got enough followers now that you can just ask a question to Twitter, you get an answer to everything. Like, I've got, we do customer support for Foursquare over Twitter. I try to reach out to fellow entrepreneurs, to, you know, to kids that go to my high school and kids that went to Syracuse that are looking for inspiration. This guy's rocking a Foursquare t-shirt right now. What's up, dude? How are you? So, yeah, it's kind of, it's, uh, it, it's I mean, that's the thing that, that's, uh, you know, um, I don't know, I've been, I've been hooked on. It's, a, it's part of my day now when it goes down, it's like the end of the world for me. This has uh, been an interesting South by Southwest for us. Like we came down here with the mission of like telling a different story about the company. Like for two years, people were like, "Oh, it's a game built on check-ins. It's kind of like fun and cute and whatever." Um, but no, it's like we're doing real, real hardcore computer science. Like people are giving us a lot of information about the stuff they do every day. Like you know, we get three check-ins a day from the average user, and now we recycle all that data. We give it back to people. And like we basically made like a recommendation engine for the real world. Like Amazon does it for books and Netflix does it for movies, and we can do it for like hot dogs and hamburgers and pinball machines and chicken parm. Like it's awesome, you know. And that's like a no one's done that stuff before, and it's, a, it's, a, it's an exciting moment for us to come down here and get to talk about it. The most interesting stuff is, is what you know, people are building now, that, um, like the mashups that people are building now between different social services. You take a little bit of Twitter, you take a little bit of GroupMe, you take a little bit of Foursquare, like you kind of mash it all up and you see what comes out of it. Um, and I, I mean, people are building crazy stuff off our API that like we don't have the time to build, we never imagined building, and that stuff's awesome because it's it's the stuff that changes the way like you experience the way you walk down the street, and like that's the stuff that really gets us excited. And you know, like we're building it, they're building it, like people are finding ways to to build it in with Twitter and to Foursquare. I mean, it's just it's all starting to happen.